Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 in your PC without having to create a Microsoft account and with additional options like, for example, installing a system without TPM 2.0 or even Secure Boot. Now, let's start with the tutorial. For the first step, you want to open your web browser and inside of here, I'm going to let all the links in the description down below. You want to download Rufus, the version 3.19. Why this version? Because in this version is where you have, as I said before, the Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 Bypass. You also have an option to skip all collection questions and also allows you to bypass the requirement to have a Microsoft account on the device. But for this, you will have to disconnect your system for the internet in the moment of the installation. Now, when you install Windows with this, you're going to have a complete official Windows 11 operating system installed in your PC or it's not going to be activated. If you need to activate it and you are looking for a cheap key, go and check out the sponsor of today's video. Keyfans. On keyfans.com, you can find cheap OEM license keys for Windows 10 and 11, Microsoft Office, and even games. By clicking on the link in the description, you will get an additional discount up to 62%. Stop paying an absurd amount of money for your keys and head to keyfans.com, add your desired software to your card. You can buy it using PayPal or credit card, and enjoy the promotion. Thanks, Keyfans.com, for sponsoring this video. Now, when you're in the website of Rufus, you want to download the 3.19.exe that you can see right here. Now you want to go to download the official ISO from Microsoft itself. For that, you want to scroll down where you see Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. In here, select Windows 11 Multi-Edition, click into Download. Now you're going to have to select the product language. Select the product language that you prefer. For me, it's English. You want to click into Confirm. Now, this link is only going to be valid for 24 hours. You want to click right here, 64-bit download, and download the ISO from Windows. Now, when you have everything downloaded, you want to open Rufus 3.19. Now, you're going to need your USB flash drive to create the installation bootable device. I let you guys some recommendation links in the description down below. Now, you want to set this in your PC. Now you're going to see that the device is already showing right here into Rufus. Into Boot Selection, you want to click right here into Select and select the Windows ISO file that we downloaded previously. Click into Open, into Image Option, leave it like it is. Partition Shim and Target System, leave it as it is. Now you can click into Start and right here you can select to remove the requirements for Secure Boot and TPM 2.0, the requirements for the RAM and also to disable the data collection. Now, before you click into OK, remember that everything that you had in that USB flash drive is going to get deleted. So if you have any important documents or anything, save them first. And now you want to click into OK. Click into OK once more after the warning. And this is going to create that installation boot drive in the flash drive that you decided. When you have everything ready and your USB flash drive is done, you can plug it in into the PC where you want to install it and make the installation normally. One thing to remember before that is simply to disconnect that PC from the internet. So if you are connected by ethernet, take the cable out, and when Windows asks you to connect to the Wi-Fi, just set it into no. So when the moment comes that Windows asks you to choose an account, you can simply do a local account on it. And it's going to let you go on with the installation without any problems. Now. I don't know how long this workaround is going to work and if Microsoft is going to change this in the future. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and a subscriber is always more than welcome. Thanks for watching, my friends, and like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.